All right, today's workout is another variation of that age group online semifinal qualifier. This one was a fun one. I really enjoyed it. It's going to start off, it's eight rounds. So we have eight full rounds. It's going to start off with one rope climb. We're going to go ahead and take these kettlebells for a farmer's carry. The distance is going to be a uh, 150 feet. We're going to break that up doing six lengths of 25 feet. So there is going to be that component of turning around. And then once you finish that 150 feet, we have some box jumps. Today's box is going to be 2420. So again, I said this is a variation of that workout. All right. We want this to be completed in under 20 minutes. So let me talk about the movement specifically, the rope climb. The intention of the rope climb is to be able to get to the rope and get up it quickly. So we don't want much time to think or rest. We should be able to jump up very quickly and get the rep done. Now, if that's something that's hard for you to do, you can go ahead and scale this to as high as possible. But again, we shouldn't be spending too much time on this rope for the rope climb. With that being said, we're gonna talk about the scale today for the ropes, all right? It's a little bit different of a variation, okay? You're gonna need to get a box that's, uh, going to be somewhere around 24 to 30 inches high. Okay, the higher the box, the more difficult this is going to be. But if you're somebody who struggles with that rope climb, this is a really good way to kind of break it down. While we're going to be having a stationary object to support our feet, it is going to be the same order of operations for the rope. So today, we're going to really focusing on, focus on the leg drive and the hip opening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand underneath the bar. It needs to be a bar that we can jump to. We jump and hold on to the bar. We get our feet up on the box. And then from here, we're gonna pull ourselves up, reach up and come right back down and we come off, okay? Again, we jump up, feet up open up and reach with the opposite hand, all right? This is gonna be something where for some of you, you think that it is going to be um, a little remedial, but I promise you it's going to really start to add up. You're gonna complete five reps of this modification, okay, in order to uh, satisfy the one rope climb. So again, jump up, up, come up, reach, back down, you don't moving too slow here as we do that so that we can move quickly. At that point, we're gonna go ahead and grab our kettlebells, okay? We wanna move swift here. We don't wanna walk slow like it's a trudge. We wanna actually move with some urgency. So a speed walk is encouraged. And we're gonna walk 25 feet before we turn around. That means we're gonna go six lengths of 25 feet to satisfy a feet total. So moving through, turning around and getting back, making sure you pass that designated line um, every time you turn around. And then finally we have that box jump 24 or 20. So from here we want to make sure that we can jump up. We'll jump up and stand all the way up. You can step or hop down, but please be mindful of what that step down or jump down is gonna do. We wanna keep our heart rate kind of moderate as we move through this workout, and we shouldn't be resting in any spot too long. And what's too long? If you're resting longer than 20 seconds at any one spot, you've rested too long. Again, this workout is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, a 20 minute time cap. So that means we want to be moving under three minutes each round. Okay. So ideally it would be uh, less than two minutes each round so that you finish right around 16 minutes.